Hey, what's going on guys? It's Parzival. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about something I think everyone does. Doesn't matter how old you are. Well, I guess it does. Little kids can't really do it. Um, and that's procrastinating. And the reason why I bring that up is that I didn't realize how bad I procrastinated until today. Well, yesterday. Yeah, I have my final today and I briefly, just very, very briefly, maybe like 10, 20 minutes, I started uh, to study. And I I did do a couple study guides and stuff like that, but um, I just, I couldn't bring myself to actually study. Like I, I would come home from work and I'd just be too exhausted and I'd just be like, you know what, no, I deserve, I deserve to play a little bit of video games. Or no, you know what, I'll go, I'll just go do something that doesn't involve studying. And luckily, I was able to really absorb everything that the professor was saying and took some pretty good notes. And so I did manage to pass those classes and everything, but I could have. I Honestly, I could have gotten a better grade on those tests if I were to just have taken the time to study. But I didn't. And ultimately, it, it brings down your grade on this a little bit. And I figured that, you know, it's not really that hard not to procrastinate. All you need to do is just make like a little schedule. You know, study 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes every day, you know, or however long you want to do it for. You know, it's not going to be so time consuming as to where you actually procrastinate and you end up, you know, using up all of these hours like in just one day and it's the day before an exam or a quiz and you just it, it just sucks because then you feel kind of pressured and some people work that way that you know they they need to feel pressured in order to actually get something done or maybe they just like pushing it off all the way till the end you know and that's perfectly fine but for those that you know can't really really do that and the best thing to do is just break it up into little little segments throughout throughout the week I noticed that really helps on test days is getting a good night's sleep which is something that I didn't do last night I could not sleep at all I, I, I absolutely tried my hardest to go to sleep early and I couldn't so I was like that's when I decided you know what like if I can't go to sleep what's the point of even trying like I'm just gonna you know open up my book a little bit and then I'll probably get tired and the window was also open and it was freezing cold so that didn't really help and thanks to my brother he I don't know why he left the window he left it wide open it wasn't even a crack the whole thing just blown open and the next thing would probably be having some sort of breakfast like it doesn't even have to be a big breakfast you could honestly just do like a granola bar uh, some cereal oatmeal and a fruit and that that could make the biggest difference you'd feel wide awake you'd feel you know like you have a nice full stomach and overall you're just gonna feel a lot better I had to fidget a lot I would tap my foot, tap my pencil, click my pen, there's like stuff like that. And I, it's just something that I, I do. Thank you. And so I've, I've been trying to figure out ways uh, to kind of help me with that. Cause it just, I think that when I realize that I'm doing that or I'm flipping the pen, clicking it, tapping, or like just moving my leg. And in my head, I'm just thinking, like, wait, why am I doing this? Like, am I nervous? And I start freaking myself even more out. And I've looked for, for little fidget stuff um, online, and they all seem pretty interesting. But in the, the reality, I, I, don't, I don't know if I need one. Like, a couple months ago, I bought, what was it? It was, like this, uh, like chain links with key rings, and they they put them together in some way where you could keep spinning them and spinning them, and like they won't get tangled, and they just they just keep going like for as long as you want. And 
I want to say it kind of helped in the sense that it gave my brain something to do. Like, not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I can't think of it, but subconsciously. It subconsciously gives my brain another task so that I can, I, I don't know, I guess focus on the main one, which would be the test. And I, like I said, I want to say it worked because I wasn't tapping my leg or shaking it. And I wasn't really worried about anything else other than, you know, the, uh, the task, like focusing on it. All that stuff, you know, procrastination, it could be really bad. You know, it, it, it doesn't hurt to, you know, study and then squeeze in that little bit right before the test. But if you haven't studied and and you think you could fit it in all in one sitting the day before, then you, you could be setting yourself up for failure. And no one wants to do that. Alright, well, I'm about to get on campus, so I uh, will see you guys in the I next video. I never take a day off, work around the clock, my engineer getting paid off. Rock like Ace up, like the weed and take off. So high, can I see eight off? Now I got these rappers all breaking up a sweat. Cause every time I get up on the mic, I come correct. And I learned it from the best, always dressing something fresh. Looking for a little dime, big button, nice chest. Yes, they heard I used to rock guests, but now I'm rocking clothes that ain't in the stores yet. Travel back in time, I'm in a vortex, trying to make a workout, think I need more reps. Used to take a bus, now the boy board jets, cause kids got me buzzing like a fucking hornet. They say I got next, tell them that I got now. It's all Disney, boy, my family proud. Make them say L, make them say O. The hoes that tell me yes, the same ones that tell you no. Whoa, I ain't just an average Joe, way above the average flow, boy, my life is most.